Koki, it's very obvious that your English ability is great. It's excellent. Thank you. And I'd like to talk to you next about your English learning journey so far.、Mm. So, did you always have an interest in English language? No. No. Yeah,、uh, when I was a high school student,、mm. uh, I had a lot of things to do. Like,、uh, I had to study math and a lot of subjects. Right. You know,、uh, it's not like I didn't like English, but I didn't have enough time to work on it.、Mm. I see. Now, this interest in English, how, when did it start for you? When I was a freshman. It was the beginning.、Uh, mm. So, did you have a great teacher that inspired you, or what, what was the starting point? The starting point.、Uh, honestly,、mm. I wanted to do better at examination for universities. I see. But you know, things、uh, don't always go. As I you know, wish. So, in terms of your language learning, did it, did it come natural to you? Because I see a lot of students struggle you know, with,、mm. with English.、Uh, or did you have to really work hard at it? So, can you give us a little bit? Of course,、answer? I had to work really hard.、Right. I struggled a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah.、Uh, at first, you know, first I started studying English.、Uh, With no ideas which is the best way to learn.、Mm. Mm, so I tried many things.、Uh, some of them failed, some of them went well. Mm. Mm. Can you explain what, what things you did that went well?、Mm. I have one thing which was very, which I think、mm. it was very good for me. It was the pronunciation.、Oh. You know,、uh, Before I started working on my pronunciation,、mm. I've never worked on it in、I、my、see. entire English learning experiences. I see. It was the first time. And how did you practice pronunciation? You said、mm. you, you would watch a lot of movies and, yeah, yeah. and watch a lot of you know, English TV.、Mm-hmm. So, how would, can you explain how you got okay. into it? I think I can explain that in three steps. Okay.、Mm. Uh, simply. The first step was、uh, I read a book about、mm. pronunciation. I see. Because I didn't know anything、mm. about it. You know, I got the knowledge how to use my lips, how to use my breath and、mm. tongue. Yeah. Yeah, that was the start. The second step was、uh, I used、uh, mm, recorded English. Because Yeah, like you know, textbook plus CDs. Okay, so you'd be, you were able to、mm. copy what, whatever the CD、yeah. was saying. Mm. Mm. And they are relatively talking clearly. Right. Right? So it was at that level, I was you know, able to follow that English. So I used them and I shadowed a lot. Mm. Mm. That was the second step. The final step was、uh, listen to the real English.、Mm. So, I,、uh, what I did was to you know, watch YouTube videos. I see. Yeah, like Taylor Swift interview,、ah. you know, celebrities interview, and、mm. stuff. How has English shaped or changed you and your outlook on the world? So, I remember,、yeah. I remember you saying in the past that when you speak Japanese and when you speak English, you feel like you're two different people, sort of. Yeah, there was that period.、Mm. Mm. Yeah. Do you still feel that that's true right now? It's getting. I think it's changing. Yeah.、Mm. At, that, at that time.、Mm. You know, I had more difficulties in talking in English. I see. So I had to think about what, what, you know, what I'm going to say. Yeah.、Mm. But it's changing.、Mm. Right now, I think I, I feel the same way, almost the same way. So 
great. So you're you're able to express your true self in, yeah. in both languages. Uh, no, uh, the next topic that I think that are on a lot of students' minds is about test scores. Mm. And I want to talk about your test scores. Uh, of course, there's there's all kinds of English tests, but the most mm. popular one here in Japan is number one is the Aiken, and mm. the second one is TOEIC. Mm. So, can you tell us what your TOEIC score, current mm. TOEIC score is, and your Aiken? Uh huh. My TOEIC score is nine hundred forty, mm. and uh, my Aiken, uh, I passed the first Aiken first. First examination, grade. yeah. And you obviously did that. You were able to achieve those scores by just studying every day. What what mm. what did you do? Because I know mm. there has to be a method. But um, one aspect was I studied every day. Mm. It's not like I worked, you know, four hours, five hours a day. It's not like that. But every morning, thirty minutes, mm. I did it every day. So like one day would you do focus on listening, one day would focus on pronunciation, vocabulary, well, like how did you break it down? Okay, uh, this month, uh, pronunciation. Okay. Top priority. Mm. And second priority is blah blah. Mm. And I did it, kept, I kept doing it for a while. I see. Mm. Then I, when I satisfied, I make a little bit changes in nice. my schedule. That's, that's a great method. Yeah, I think that's important because, you know, when you study, mm. your skills always changes. Right. Right? right actually, so yeah, you are, yeah, your studying method also have to change mm. depending on your status. In Japan, why do you think English tests are so important? Firstly, uh, it's important because people say it's important. That's one way to look at it. But I feel there are two reasons why English tests are important for me. The first one is to show which level I am. It's not 100% correct, but you know, people kind of have the idea what this person can do. I see. Vaguely, at least. Right. Mm. Without even knowing them. They can look at a test score and say, yeah. oh, if he has 940 toy, mm. he must be very good. Yeah. Sort of thing. That's one aspect. Mm. The other is, it's a very powerful tool to, you know, to help you study a language. Mm. You know, because, uh, you know, mm. working on the test will teach you, you know, Grammar, knowledge, right, mm. and many right vocabulary. There's, there's uh, so many different things that we can list. So, what can you say for students now who are currently struggling with the TOEIC test mm -hmm. or who currently don't like English mm -hmm. tests? What can you say to them? Mm. I think we should find at least one element of joy in learning. Yeah, mm. probably we should find something uh, we like about that, you know, process. There is one period in my, you know, uh, career uh, at the time, I really loved Taylor Swift. So I always uh, watched her interview videos on YouTube. Right. And actually, because I liked it, liked those videos, mm. I could naturally concentrate it on the videos. So I learned a lot. So you phrases. Didn't, you didn't even have to think about concentrating on something. You you liked it so much; it mm. was just natural to you. Yeah. Right. And you can memorize more, and you know you can just absorb many elements. Right. Next week, mm. uh, Saturday, uh, I'm joining the symposium of Go Global Japan in Kobe. That's right, you, you mm. mentioned that earlier. Yeah, and they in advance asked me a question, which the question was, what do you think is the global 
Jinzai. Mm. What, what's the English word in for Jinzai? Resources. Resources. So they asked me, what, what do you think is the global resources? What's your answer to that?、Mm. I thought a lot about it. And my answer is global person, global resources are the person who can communicate smoothly. With people having various backgrounds.、Mm. And also,、uh, you should be able to connect with those people、mm. tightly. Right. Because、mm. it's important for the next step when doing something together,、right. working on something together. What's an important skill to have or to facilitate that connection? The attitude of trying to know that person.、Mm. You know, of course, business is partly about you know, how good the condition is, how you know, much money can be moved. But that's only for that time on the surface.、Right. You know, people don't you know, move. For money or something. I believe people move for someone.、Or、yeah, it's、message. about feelings. Right.、Mm. Hi, everyone. We've been talking with Koki Okumoto for this month's Student Spotlight, and I wanted to really thank him for, for coming and doing this interview with us. Thank you for this great opportunity. Great. Isn't, isn't his English <laughs> just great? I really respect this gentleman. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today and look forward to the next Student Spotlight. We'll see you soon.